Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're going to playing The Sims 4. A new update just came out, it's got a few little things including first person mode, so we're going to try it out. The Positivity Challenge. For a limited time your sims can earn motivational posters with powerful positive energy as a reward for making the neighborhood a better place. I'm sure I'm going to get them. Jim's taking a little break from therapy. That stuff's expensive you know. I did want to jump back into The Sims 4 for both this update and the DLC that's coming out. The Get Famous one. Be an opportunity for Jim to be an internet sensation or an actor or a singer. All of the above maybe. I just want to see his name in lights and not like Planet Coaster. I mean, I like it, but <laughs> the game doesn't. <laughs> so we got terrain now, I believe. Oh yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> Just reverse that. And we should have first person mode where we can actually see inside the eyes of Jim. Let's try it out. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is so feckin' weird. It's, don't look at me like that. Hey, you wanna woohoo? <laughs> she nodded. <laughs> this is bizarre. Wait, why are you taking notes? Are you my psychiatrist? <laughs> <laughs> this is so feckin' weird. I'm so weirded out by this. Jim is feckin' irresistible. Like, he can get any woman he wants. Oh, nice phone, Jim. Okay, we've exchanged numbers. Hey, I was thinking of joining Jim's cult. I think I have a lot to bring. What do you think? Yeah, sure, why not? Join the cult. Oh my god. This is weirding me out so much. Oh, no, stop doing that. Stop, I'm trying to romance her. You get some really unfortunate views in this restaurant because, you know, all the staff are half naked. Conqueroo. Oh, where'd you get that from? Oh my god. <laughs> I love first person mode so much already. Hey, what's your order? Is that the uh, puffer fish? <laughs> I would not recommend it, I gotta be honest. I'd just stick to the second option on our menu, water. Uh, uh, you're, you're just gonna eat that? I don't know if that's a good idea, lady. Oh, you like it? All right, uh, yeah, I was being sarcastic. It's really good. It's time for our first kiss, honey bun. Wait, uh, can you keep that puffer fish away from me? Uh, maybe wash it down with some water before we kiss or something. That's not how you use chopsticks, lady. Here we go. Oh my god. She looks kind of shocked and appalled there. Confess attraction. <laughs> it's like, I think I kind of like you <laughs> after flirting with her for that long in the restaurant. And kissing, I might add. Why are you complaining, huh? Oh, why is he so shocked? He's like, oh god, he's in first person, get out of here. Try for baby. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Bogan drove? Nuh-uh. Oh, I thought you'd want me for dessert. <laughs> God damn it, I think it was just the coffin. All right, let me build a room. Hold on. I was looking for a tent, not tentacle Tom, whatever the hell that is. I don't think that's going to put her in the mood. All right, I got this bush for us. How about that? Now will you accept me? Oh, she's excited. It's like, yes, I would love to have a baby with you, guy I just met. <laughs> they do say that poisonous puffer fish that is really badly cooked is an aphrodisiac. <laughs> Wait, what? Come back? <laughs> what? I think she's going home. What the hell is that about? All right, I guess she's gone. I'll, I'll call her back, I guess. So yeah, I'm still waiting by that bush to make a child. <laughs> Are you coming back or what? I think it was because her meal time in the restaurant was done, so she just zipped out of here. What's this child done? Okay, he's going to continue doing that. Staff, someone clean that up. Bad news, Jim was fired from his job at the police station. He's not been there in weeks. Yes, she's excited about it. Okay, in they go. Ah, ah, God, don't get in the middle of us. Don't make this weird. <laughs> what the hell? I think she just smacked my bottom. Ah, what the hell is going on? I'm so scared. I think this might be poison ivy. Hey, if this is what you're into, this is what you're into. If you're not hurting anyone, then whatever you do is fine by me. Even though you are kind of hurting this child that will be born to an unloving family. And an absent dad. Watch out, sir. There's fireworks. Ah, uh, you don't seem to care. I like how coffin is out of the question, but this bush in the entrance of a restaurant is just fine. <laughs> There's a line there somewhere, I'm just not sure where it is. You're a pervert, by the way. <laughs> You're just staring at us. <laughs> you feckin' pervert. Are you waving at me or him? Oh, oh god. Yeah, I think the wave was for him, the glare was for me. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, I've had enough picking on people. I should probably go home. I'm introducing myself to my staff member. Jim just doesn't realize she works here, even with the uniform on. Oh, she likes it. See, she's coming around. Oh, maybe not. Hello there. Fancy some maternity leave? Oh, I guess not. Oh no, <laughs> he's embarrassed. All right, you know what? I'm going home. I heard it's night night at the bar. Want to check it out? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> 
Oh, it's night night. Okay, you just dress up as a knight. Um, well, I'm very underdressed, I'm afraid. Uh, miss? <laughs> okay, I understand you're probably new, but you missed the cup entirely. I'm gonna ask this knight to play foosball with me. Jim, go to the other ones. No, there's no point spinning these. The ball's over there. Jim, what are you doing? <laughs> oh god, he's stopping to be a vampire for a second. I don't know, did I just lose a point or what? Why are you dancing at, say, the woman's room? That is extremely creepy. And you don't sound like a woman, so you're not waiting to go in. Alright, you know what? He head home, Jim. You've got kids at home. Jesus, it's like this is not something I want to get stuck doing. <laughs> it's not the most entertaining of parties. That new cult member is already off to a bad start if they're recommending parties like this. Wait, what? I just got back. Oh, are you dying from old age? Senior pollination technician has sent first name a gift. A, se a second one aged up. God, a lot happened when I was away. How long was I gone for? Okay, first name is also aging up. And Grimy is dying. It's kind of beautiful in a way. Not because they're growing up and she's dying or anything. It's just, it's kind of beautiful when people die. <laughs> oh, look, they're toddlers now. Best of luck, Santas. They get wild around this age. Uh, Santas, that one is naked. Can you... Do something- uh, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> Best of luck down there. Uh, what about Grimy? How's she doing? Uh, aha, yes. Uh, go ahead and plead for her. I brought her back to life! It's rare I get to bring them back. Sometimes when I bring them back from death when they're old, they just die again, so... We'll see. Yeah, you're back! You don't get to escape that easily. I'm a vampire, by the way. I'm very keen on letting people know about that. Jesus, how cold is it in here? <laughs> what does Grimy actually look like? I honestly cannot remember. We should find out before she dies. Oh, there we go. Okay, I kind of forgot she was an alien. <laughs> there we go. That's your new disguise. That's a lot better. Oh, yeah, she's dying again. Didn't even get to try out your new disguise as a gnome person. All right, Mr. Reaper, I totally understand if it's not possible, but could I have her back for another few minutes? I want her to try on the new costume. Ah, oh, damn. Come on. I just wanted her to die as a gnome. He's just playing My Sims on his computer when right behind him, Grimy is being killed. <laughs> All right, time to get messing with those terrain tools. What could I do? Oh, she left a fancy gravestone. Uh, I want to lock it away. I don't want them interacting with it. Here, Santas, you guys can have it. Or you know what? We can bring it to the restaurant. That's probably for the best. Project is out there crying for himself. <laughs> He's mourning himself. I think that's the first time I've seen that. He's like, he was... So beautiful and so amazing at everything. <laughs> Why did he have to go so young? What's the positivity challenge? What do I have to do? Call Millie Bobby Brown, the event coordinator? When Millie Bobby Brown arrives, speak with her to learn about the positivity challenge. Okay. Hey Jim, it's me, Valentina. Do you want to go out on a date? Uh, no, I was just using you to have a baby. And I don't know how you were calling me. I was on the phone to somebody else. Challenge coordinator? Is this... I, I thought I was supposed to be talking to Millie Bobby Brown. One of my babies is really upset. Are the Santas feeding him? Okay, one of the Santas is asleep. And the other is just idling. Needs amusement. Oh, okay. I can give you amusement. Look, I got this large pet poop. You can have that. In fact, I'll put it right next to you. I got this bottle of medicine. Put that uh, in the hallway if you want that. There's a horse there if you want to play with that. Can you play with that horse? Will that keep you happy? Yeah, play with the horsey. Okay, great. You can make great horse noises. It's like they're really dying. What's wrong with you now? Why are you angry? Where is everyone? <laughs> How do you know any different? You've been alone your entire life. Can you not be like first name pickings? Look, they just stand there idling, growing up very slowly until they'll actually be useful to me. Oh, it's a love day. All right, on account of love day, I'm going to leave one of the Santas out for a second. All right, since Jim is soon going to start on his YouTube career, we got to start getting him into the YouTube challenge mindset. All right, the classic I'm stuck in a pit and want to die challenge. Challenge. This should be a good one for Santa. All right, that's both his toilet and his bed because you can sleep and pee in there He's got his little barrel for cooking the have a heart umbrella. Okay, that's that's too spot-on I need to put that in <laughs> I couldn't not put it in when it's trying to tell me to have a heart and there we go That's his purpose is to build a rocket ship to get out of there <laughs> The gift of fire. Yeah, I'll <laughs> give him that some bees. <laughs> nice old bee box. Yeah, he can be a bit of a bee farmer down here too. I was about to say, for your sake, I hope it doesn't rain, but it's already raining. <laughs> Start building. <laughs> Those bees are just gonna annoy the shit out of him. <laughs> Good first person for it. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, you lunatic! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> now try bonding with them. I should probably put on my beekeeper suit, but he's confident. He's Santa. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, he's panicking now. First person. Hello, <laughs> guys. I can hear the terror in his voice. He got stung. Ouch. Pesky bee. <laughs> First name is very hungry. Why is no one feeding him? I know I took one of the Santas away, but still, come on, dude. No, Jim, come on. No time to die yet. We gotta go out and spread the positivity. Yeah, that's right. Back up. How's the old beekeeper doing? Where are you? Oh, you're in your toilet. <laughs> Sleeping, I believe. <laughs> That's his first person view. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a mess. Excuse me, Santa, if you could just let me see your neck real quick. <laughs> Will you stop? Stop! Jesus, I'm down here for like 30 seconds and you're already nagging me. Santa, don't look at me. I'm not helping you. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine not seeing your father in feckin' days, and then you first see him sucking on Santa's neck. Well, I guess he could be sucking on worse. Now that kind of thing would really make you hate Christmas. Alright, come on, to the neighbors. The bro house. I'm already angry. Enter the residence without being greeted. Yeah, how about this for positivity? Otilnosaur! Otilnosaur, that's right. <laughs> he made that up, you know he did. He bursts in through the door and immediately starts drinking his blood. <laughs> <laughs> He's just naked. The windows are so big. If anyone was looking in, they'd be like, what the hell kind of kinky shit are they into? Warm self, that might be a good idea since you're completely naked. God, this house is beautiful. I kind of want it. <laughs> There's no one around. It would be the perfect time to do something about it. Uh, not right now. I'm busy, Valentina. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> he's naked and just choking him. <laughs> Jesus, he's lost a lot of weight and I'm looking at him. I hope no one comes in. <laughs> he's taking a long time to suffocate. All right. Phew. <laughs> he's done. <laughs> well, he's scared of me. What have you done? <laughs> selfie. Take selfie with a knife. <laughs> You can see his feet in the background. Just a slight little clue to who may have done this. <laughs> I hope to God he wipes down that machine. <laughs> he just choked someone out and he's like, man, I feel buff now. He looks way too happy. Jesus Christ. Wait, they have a DJ station in the room? I'm gonna hire a DJ. That DJ is gonna be extremely weirded out when he gets to the door and the Grim Reaper is watching me naked playing guitar. <laughs> Ah, here's the DJ. As good as my guitar playing is, I might go in and enjoy the music in here. What? What's wrong? You're a DJ, you don't like my free spirit? Oh, that makes me angry. <laughs> now you're dead too. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at him, he's covered in blood. This is not how the Sims was meant to be played. Can I use their shower? Now he's taking a nap in their bed. <laughs> he's covered in blood and he just goes to bed. Look at his little picture in the corner. Alright, it, it's best to shower off this blood, I'm telling you. I think there's something to this DNA evidence that I keep hearing about. I should know, I used to be a cop. Oh my god, I haven't got the blood off him, it won't come off! Now that's something you never thought you'd see. A Jim Pickens covered in blood just twerking. <laughs> I like how he wraps his sweater around him though to make it decent. Jesus Christ, his hips don't lie. And he knows it, he knows he's got talent. Oh, there's a child outside. Let's hope he didn't live here. <laughs> he looks pretty upset, he may have lived here. But basically, the guy's roommate is dead. A DJ is dead. There's probably sweat stains all over your stuff, blood in your bed, and this guy's twerking in your bedroom. Oh god, is this the other guy? Oh, I think he's home. Uh, I can explain. Booty shaking. They like it when I make this ass vibrate. <laughs> My anaconda don't- <laughs> He's feeling flirty. <laughs> Oh my god, what's he doing? Jesus Christ, I didn't even tell him to kill him. Well, we've learned if I leave him alone, he's probably gonna start murdering at will. I was just adjusting my camera and I just heard screams. I guess he really likes this house. Oh, what's he doing now? He looks so happy. Looks like he's chatting with someone. You know what, Jim? We should really go home. Zebora. Wait, who the feck was that? Oh, it's Grim. <laughs> he's probably like, dude, come on. <laughs> Could you stop killing Sims? I don't have all day to reap souls. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my bad. Oh god, he's getting happy and flirty from killing people. It's always been inside of me. This chaos is filling my heart with sweet joy. Love Day really wasn't up to Clement's expectations. I wonder why. He's in a pit of bees, pretty much. Positivity challenge isn't going so well for Jim. Oh my god, what are you doing now? Jeez, oh my god, he's caught himself on fire. What the hell is he doing? Oh, he's burning the leaves. Alright, you know what, Jim? Go 
Home. Go home. Look, this person wants to go on a date with you. Go with them. Jesus Christ. He's so difficult. Okay, why are you all coming in here? Oh, it's because I have blood all over me. They're checking me out. Okay. Take off your bloody clothes. All right. All eyes on you. Quick. Yep. This is the new entertainment, guys. Twerking for money. Feel free to- Oh, God. Look at the crowd I'm drawing. <laughs> oh, he liked it. Look, I'm getting cash. Look at this, I'm getting more money than I've ever gotten from this restaurant. This is clearly the way to go. Look, he's very inspired. They're all clapping him on. You're nothing but a cheap ass bitch, my employee said to me. Oh, he's gonna pay for that one. Like how he's completely naked for this as well. Look at all that money, they're making it rain. Okay, now that I've distracted you from all that blood, I'm gonna stop. I can't stand working here anymore. Hire someone else to deal with all of this. I quit. All right, we'll have a little post job get together and we'll discuss what went wrong you know and i'll give you a good reference and all that why don't you meet me on the abandoned island out of the museum let's go have a chat in private frame sim Hell no. Jobs. here's this glass of blood i have a lot of them as i am a vampire Four big. Uh. i'm calling the police on this guy <laughs> oh here they are i guess they arrived by boat <laughs> who knows oh i can report sim okay get him He's a bad man. Yes, that's right. You are under arrest. Oh my god. Fucking helicopter to get him out of here. Well, I guess that works. Oh, what the hell? What the- The helicopter crashed. And this guy somehow lived, even though it landed right on him. What the hell was that? I've never seen that before. Is he dead then? <laughs> I guess he died in the helicopter crash. Wait, he's still in my phone book. Let me invite him over. If he comes over, he deserves to die. He's sleeping. Probably a permanent sleep. All right, I guess we'll get him next time. It just seems weird that they arrested him, got him into the helicopter, and the helicopter immediately crashed. <laughs> like, god damn, this has been quite the day for him. All started with him quitting his job and calling me a cheap-ass bitch. He will die for that, or at least be imprisoned for life, one or the other. Oh, he stinks. I forgot to give him a shower. That's the one thing he needs. Well, he needs a lot of things, but that's the one thing he can't get, as well as social. Alright, well, I guess we've done enough for one day. I really like the first person mode, even though it's pretty gimmicky. Where the hell is my head? How is it rolling? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. The next one will probably be with the new expansion, I hope anyway. But until then, I'll just thank you for watching. Appreciate you as always, folks, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.